gonna be a beautiful day for the town's bicentennial, folks. Let's all try to make it out there and enjoy the parade. I've been watching them all day, but nothing much goes on. Maybe that's what they want you to think. Maybe they're only waiting until the lights go out. And then, as soon as you're asleep... Stop her! My ass form! <laughs> shoo! Shoo! Bad dog! Every time that dog gets loose, it goes straight for our garbage. Ants? Where are all these ants coming from? Ah, uh, we're gonna go get rid of Tupper! He's gone! Uh. Hey, Tupper's got my dad's golf trophy! Get him! And I heard that he tore some kid's arms clean off when he tried to pet him. Tupper? You've been listening to George Jamal again. Oh, no! He must have got into the tailor's garbage. I better tell Mr. Taylor about this. I don't think they're home. Hello? Mr. Taylor? Um, Tupper knocked over your trash can? Mrs. Taylor? Now, why do you think they go out and leave their door open? Come on, guys, let's go. You're scared Tupper might come back, aren't you? I'm not. Ah! Eek! Stop it! Sorry, just proving a point. Come on, Tupper probably went back home with my father's trophy. <gasps> this place gives me the creeps. home. That's good enough for me. Your dad can come by and get his trophy back tomorrow. Uh, let's go. Wait! Maybe he's in the backyard. That's what I'm afraid of. Look! There's a light! Wow! Will you look at that? It's our town! Only smaller! There's your house. And mine! Look at the tailor's place! The trash can! <gasps> Did you see that? I think we should get out of here. Uh, I second that motion. Did you children come to play with my topper? <laughs> We'll have to make a dash for it. Ready, Charlie? Uh, uh oh. Ah! The door's locked. Maybe they're not open yet. Let's see. Hello? Officer Halcroft? This place is deserted. Maybe Reverend Gregory can tell us where Officer Halcroft is. My mom says he knows everybody's business. Reverend Gregory's gone too! He didn't get his newspaper. Something's wrong. Very wrong. Where is everybody? I think I know. And if we don't act fast, we may end up being the only full sized people in town. <laughs> Welcome, Matt, for us. These are exceptional circumstances. Maybe one of us should stay behind to keep an eye out. Good idea. 
Tupper can keep you company. Wait for me! Where are you? Ouch! That's my foot! I don't like this. Wait! I found a light switch! Whoa! Look at that! It's beautiful! Look! There's the police station. And Reverend Gregory's. Notice anything? Yeah. All those lights weren't on earlier. That's because they're now occupied by the people Mr. Williams shrank down and put inside them. That would mean once the whole model is lit up, our city will be a ghost town. Exactly. Mr. Williams is making his own ant farm. The lights came on when I hit one of these switches. There has to be a button to reverse the shrinking process. Wrong switch. Better use the scientific method. You're right. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Cross my fingers and my toes. Hey, those are our houses. I don't like the looks of this. Hey, how did we end up outside? I don't know, but we better warn everyone before the entire town is reduced. Hey guys, is it me, or does the ground feel weird? Come on, Lily, there's no time to waste. No, really. Everything seems so clean, so new. Nighttime already? <laughs> Mr. Williams turned himself into a giant! No, he didn't. We've been shrunk. We're in the model town. Convincing, isn't it, children? It's the small details that bring a model to life, you know. You may have tricked us, but you won't get away with this. Oh, but I already have, dear. Your friends and neighbors have been very gracious test subjects. You're nothing but a mean little man! I'm not little. It's the world that's too big. But I'd say I found a way to remedy the situation, wouldn't you? Soon you'll have the whole town to keep you company. In the meantime, I'll leave you to play with my tub. <laughs> Get them, boy! Get them! Quick! Inside the house! I think we lost him. <laughs> now that's what I call housebreaking. Run! <laughs> dog would ever think to look for us here. Probably not, but we still have to do something to save the town. Wait a minute. Do you remember what Mr. Williams said about small details making the difference? I don't think this is the time for... No, listen. He's a stickler for details. Right down to this house. And the basement. And the control panel. Stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Williams. Oh, no! The controls are painted on! We have to try anyway. Ah, uh, girls! I think you better hurry up! We're doing our best! It's time to meet your neighbors. You're gonna love life in a small town. There's no more time! Hurry! We'll see who's looking down on who from now on. Are we back? It's hard to tell. Ah! It's tougher! It didn't work. We're doomed. It's the Bicentennial Parade. We're back to real size. Yeah! <laughs> kids been all morning. Practically the whole town pitched in. Imagine that. They don't even remember being shrunk. And a 
invite you all to come again and visit this beautiful model town we commissioned to celebrate the bicentennial. It's unfortunate that Mr. Williams moved away to Florida before we had a chance to really thank him. But wherever he is, Mr. Williams must be very pleased with what he's accomplished. Now, let's finish off our bicentennial celebration with a town hall banquet. Please go downstairs and to your left. maybe not play in the living room. I don't want you to break anything. The vampire is trapped in the enemy castle. <laughs> My grandmother's vase! Mona! I told you not to play in here. That's it. You have to be taught a lesson. No monster movies for a whole month. But no ands, ifs, or buts, young lady. My decision is final. Maybe if I go someplace really far away and don't come back for a really long time, Mom will be very sorry that she got mad at me and took away my monster movies. You with me, Fang? on George and Principal Shobley. What are you talking about, Mona? I always pick on wimpy George and dolty Principal Shobley. You, you do? Well, it's not nice. It's not nice! <laughs> I think there's something different about Mona. Take that, Miss Vampire. Very funny, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie and Lily are as strange as everyone else. They're like the opposite of... Angela! Hello, friend. You're from the mirror world, aren't you? Mirror world? What mirror world? You're not our usual, Mona. You're from the mirror world where the opposites live. You, Charlie, Lily, Principal Shobley, everyone's the opposite, of course! So, my opposite. 
visit must be in my world and causing big, big trouble. We have to get you back there. What did you do with our Mona? I didn't do anything. Eh, too late. Mona, watch it! Whoa! Hello, cute, playful children. Anyone want some answer sheets to next Monday's test? Can't you see we're busy? Stop trying to be our best friend, will ya? Oh, sorry, Charlie. I, I didn't mean to be a pest. <laughs> nicer than the Angela I know. We have to get you back into your world. How? I can open up the window to the other world through this mirror. With this. Wow. And you'll have to send the other Mona back into this world through this little mirror before she causes big, big trouble. I never thought I'd say this to an Angela, but I like you. Thanks. Through the mirror, Mona. knew you had a screw loose, Miss Vampire. Talking to the mirror, huh? Wait till I tell everybody. By the way, I'd stay away from Lily and Charlie. They're pretty angry with you today. Ha ha. But it wasn't me. You're the only one who knows the combination to my locker. Who else could have done it? Charlie, are you looking at me? Nope. <laughs> I told you, it was my doppelganger. She's exactly the same as me, except mean and nasty. After she trapped me in the mirror world, she came here and... <laughs> and what about me and the spiders? Oh, no, spiders. You hate spiders. I came to my locker because I was cold. So I put on the sweater. It felt kind of funny. <laughs> you have to admit, you do know where the biggest spiders in town are. I'm telling you, I just arrived here from the mirror world. And I have to find my doppelganger before she causes any more trouble. There was a creature in there, like a vampire. There, there, Angela. I think it was Mona, and she was trying to scare me. It couldn't have been Mona. She was with us the whole time. I think it was a doppelganger. I'm going in. Mona, don't go in there. Let Principal shop you. I know you're in here. We won't hurt you. Just want to send you back to your mirror world. Uh. Charlie? <sighs> Careful, Lily. I think it's got Charlie. Help! Mona! Lily? Charlie! I'm gonna get you! No match for me. All your goody niceness makes you weak. I'm gonna send you back into the mirror world. Ha 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 ha! Hey! No! I don't want to go back. I like it here. I'm having fun! Don't forget to write. Good work, Fang. Keep calm, everybody. It was just my exact opposite from the mirror world, wreaking some old-fashioned doppelganger havoc. Was there really a doppel-whatever in here, sir? Up there, that must be what Angela saw. <laughs> it's just a mannequin. Oh! 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 
Okay, uh, everyone out of here. Gee, Fang, who believed there's a really, really nice Angela in a mirror world somewhere? <laughs> Angela! Mission accomplished! My devious devil has been sent back! Can you stay and play a while? I'd love to, but there's another doppelganger in your world that has to be sent back. Oh, no, who? I've prepared you and your little friend a diced liver Brussels sprout snack pudding. She's not really your mother. What's that in Angela's hand? Give it to me. Angela, throw it! Give it to me. You're going to be grounded. No! Yay! We did yes. it! I have to leave. I think we'd be really good friends, but now the gateway between our mirror worlds will close forever. Goodbye, Angela. <laughs> Goodbye, Mona! <laughs> I'm sorry about getting so angry about the vase. You could stay up tonight and watch your monster movie if you like. Thanks, Mom. But I think I'll be going to bed early tonight. I'm beat. My terrible twin doppelganger was here, causing all sorts of trouble. But I finally got it back into the mirror world. Well, that's great, sweetie. Was it the doppelganger, then, who broke the vase this morning? No, that was me. Sorry, Mom. I won't play in the living room anymore. Well, that's good to hear. Now let's get your father and have a nice dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs>